And we're working for you tonight to break down exactly what this Malaysia crash means if the plane was in fact shot down. We have Dr. Jacek Lubecki, the Associate Professor and Director of the Center for International Studies at Georgia Southern. He joins me now live via Skype. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you so much for having me. Professor, break down for our viewers what this in fact means for our viewers. Why should they take notice? Why should they care? Well, for the United States, for Malaysia, for the world, you know, we care because 300 innocent people just lost their lives in a, you know, senseless shooting down incident. And the world community has to intervene to make sure that, uh, you know, nothing like this happens again. Professor, the president spoke in Delaware for a brief moment, in fact, less than two minutes. And one of the things he discussed, he said uh, one of the main objectives is to find out if any Americans were on board. If we, in fact, find out that there were Americans on board, how will that change the plan of attack moving forward? Well, I think that uh, that would mean that the United States must become much more involved in a conflict to stop it. Uh, that would mean that stopping the conflict becomes much more of an imperative for, for the American president and American government. You know, most importantly, from what I understand, there were some 29 Americans on board. You know, I understand this is speculation at this point, but there was a significant number of American citizens on board. Well, even more importantly, United States cares about incidents like this, whether American citizens are involved or not. Um, you know, things like this should not happen. So. I, I see United States becoming much more involved in the conflict. Well, with that said, it's gl I'm glad you said that because here we have Hunter Army Airfield, we have Fort Stewart, we have a huge military presence in our community. What do you think is going on at those bases, at those posts right now in terms of planning or even looking at the new developments? Well, so is the question about what do you think is going to happen you know, from now on in the Ukrainian conflict, is well, it correct? Yes, yes, and, and will our local presence, military presence here, intervene? And if so, how do you think they're, they're planning right now? What's, what strategy, if any, is involved right now when we talk about Hunter Army Airfield and Fort Stewart? Yeah, I'm not sure if U.S. military is going to become directly involved in a conflict. Frankly, I doubt it. I think there would be U.S. diplomatic engagement. Uh, you know, generally speaking, in terms of local impact, I'm not sure if there were any Americans who are from Georgia who were, you know, present on board of the airplane. You know, it's, it's a possibility also. Uh, I think, you know, the civil aviation all over the world is kind of put on alert about the possibility of this type of shootdown, and that might have some local ramifications. Now, going back to the Ukrainian conflict, kind of the future of it, uh, uh, you know, I, again, what I see is the world community, especially United States, intervening much more forcefully to stop the fighting, because this is the precise moment where the fighting, you know, visibly has gotten out of hands and resulted in this tragedy. Hey, uh, you professor, know, so, mm -hmm. professor, mm -hmm. lastly, because I'm told we have about 20 seconds left, just answer this for right. me. Will this change or impact the sanctions that the White House imposed on Russia just yesterday? I think it, they, they will pull Russia more towards a compromise solution in the conflict. Uh, so precisely the goal we want to achieve at this point. All right, Professor Jacek Lubecki, the director for the Center of International Studies at Georgia Southern, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate thank you so much for having me on the program. I appreciate it.